Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 21st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. It looks like we're in for an active weather day after a relatively calm severe weather season for our secondary severe weather season. Looks like we're in for some severe weather. Before we get to that, I thought you might like to note that the temperature hasn't changed much overnight. That's a look at the temperature trace at my weather station. The surface situation is that we have off to our northwest a stationary front that stretches all the way from New England across the Ohio River Valley and back into northeast Texas. And uh, it is that frontal system that will be moving our way along with an upper level trough that is coming out of the northern Mexico area, the southwestern United States, and that will be pulling out to the northeast. Uh, the trough is going to actually hang back somewhat, so while the front will move through, it looks like the cold air will be a little bit lagging behind. The uh, setup this morning is that we have a good south to southeast wind that is bringing in warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, certainly is warm. We uh, should be uh, seeing a record today of 73. That's the record for this date. But uh, it looks like temperatures will be pushing that record, perhaps tying or even exceeding that record for the record high for this date. Uh, temperatures this morning generally in the 60s across central Alabama. Along the frontal boundary, we have a lot of rain that is occurring. And because of that, there are a number of, of advisories. The greens that you see are primarily flash flood watches and some warnings that are in effect. The uh, purples and uh, sort of pinkish color uh, behind that are actually winter weather advisories. So there's a lot of travel issues being produced by this storm system as it kicks out. Precept-wise, we're looking at a good deal of precipitation across the eastern third of the country, uh, up, up to two to four inches in parts of the Ohio River Valley and across the southeastern U.S. It looks like for central Alabama, on the order of one to two inches. And as I say, the severe weather threat is up there. The Storm Prediction Center has a moderate risk that extends from just north of Nashville down across parts of northern Mississippi into Louisiana, just to the north of Lake Charles. That covers the northwestern corner of Alabama, but the uh, moderate risk area is surrounded by a slight risk that extends through uh, just about all, not quite all of Alabama, not uh, including the southeast corner. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS model run, and uh, there comes the uh, trough. This is at midday today, around noontime. There comes the trough out of the southwestern United States. We're going to take an intermediate time, and uh, there is the trough at midnight tonight. And so you can see it's uh, basically into the central Mississippi River Valley. The frontal system will be uh, by this evening at midnight. You'll see a surface low in the vicinity of uh, oh, uh, Paducah, Kentucky, approximately, with the cold front stretching down into Louisiana. Now that uh, sets the stage for conditions. And uh, we're not looking at just humongous values, but we are looking at values that are uh, substantial. Here's a look at the CAPE values at uh, midnight tonight. And you can see that the uh, highest values are uh, between 750 and 1,000 over uh, central Mississippi. If we extend that into the uh, early morning hours around uh, 6 a.m. on uh, Sunday, we see that the, the, the values are still above 750 over much of Alabama. And those coincide with the uh, helicity values. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer uh, storm relative helicity values, the amount of shear, and once again, they are sufficient. They're not huge, but they are sufficient for isolated tornadoes to occur, and that is uh, at midnight. And then by uh, 6 a.m. on Sunday morning, you can see the values are beginning to come down as the front uh, initially moves through. Now, let's also take a look at the high res NAM, and this is uh, the map for uh, 3Z, that would be um, around uh, 9 p.m., and you can see that there is a possibility of isolated uh, supercells ahead of the main line, so we'll be watching for those developments, to, or that development to occur. However, it does look that by 09Z or 3 a.m., it has uh, evolved into more of a squall line situation, and so damaging wind is going to be the main threat, but we can't rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes. And then by 15Z or uh, 9 a.m., it looks like uh, much of the weather will be basically just 
passing I-65 and moving off uh, into the east, central, and southeast parts of uh, Alabama. Now, coming back to the uh, GFS, uh, this is the uh, map at uh, midday on Sunday, and you can see that the front is essentially moving through as the surface low moves up into the eastern Great Lakes. Now, I say the upper air pattern by Sunday at midday, the trough is holding back. So we see the main piece of energy up over the uh, Lake Michigan, and then the trough hanging back over West Texas. And so what that means is that uh, with the trough still even on Monday back to our west, it means the real cold air won't get here until Monday and Tuesday. And you can see by the surface map on Monday, the 23rd, that the uh, 540 thickness line dipping down into extreme uh, uh, northern Louisiana and northeastern Texas, so the cold air hanging back just a little bit. The trough finally goes by on the Tuesday the 24th, Christmas Eve, and uh, we should be dry as the surface high settles in, and that's going to be one of our chillier days. And then Christmas Day, we're kind of almost into a flattening pattern as the main energy and uh, the main trough is off to our north, and so that means that the surface high settles in over us. So Christmas Day is going to be a coolish day. Looks like probably a high around 53 after a morning low in the probably the middle uh, 20s. We stay in a somewhat of a troughiness, but because the atmosphere is dry, I don't think we're going to see much in the way of precipitation, although with each of these little disturbances, like you see on Friday here, each of those little disturbances, we may see some um, clouds moving through uh, the sky, but the GFS is not suggesting much in the way of uh, any significant precipitation. When we get out to Saturday, a week from today, we see that the uh, little um, short wave has uh, amplify just a little bit, but we're under a northwesterly flow, so it looks like we're not going to warm up that much. Now, as we get out into voodoo country, it certainly looks like things will be changing. Uh, we show that the pattern is still pretty active. You can see a nice trough coming through Arkansas, and that should bring a bit of wet weather to uh, the southeastern U.S. around the 30th, uh, but that doesn't look especially cold. I mean, not not extreme cold anyway. And then when you get out to the 1st of 2014, this is the 5th of January, midday, and it certainly suggests that with a deep trough in the west that we'll pump up the ridge in the east, and that certainly means a rather wet and also warm pattern for the southeastern U.S. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I hope that uh, for this day, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to stay weather-wise and uh, have a way of getting weather warnings because the weather is coming in during the hours when most of us will be asleep. Not all of us will be asleep. Some of us will be manning the weather center. Uh, in the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates. I'm, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.